Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cast Chats. I am Cass Bowers. Thank you so much for joining me for day nine of Vlogmas. I am in my bathroom, as you can see, and I want to, I'm in here because I want to show you um, this wig and what I do to make the wig look better. <laughs> so remember, uh, vlog a couple of vlogs before I showed you that I bought a wig from Love Me Hair. My, my lips are crusty, sorry. <laughs> and so I want to show you my process. Hopefully I know what I'm doing. I want to show, my, show you my process of um, de-wigifying this hair because it looks very wiggy right now. So I have everything sitting here ready and I put stuff on top of it. And there's a glare from that light, see? I don't know if it looks better without the light on, but there's a there's a glare glare from my light bulb. So let's see if I can fix it a little bit. Turn it down like that, and you just and I'll have to bend down so you can see me. But I had a stool. Where's my stool? Hmm. I don't know. So first, literally, what I'm doing is I'm taking the wig, and I'm going to use some conditioner. And shampoo. The shampoo might be in the shower. I don't know. Does do you all the shampoo? Do you all shampoo in the shower? Um, shampoo your hair in the shower when you shampoo at home. I do. I mean, I have been lately. What is this in my? Okay, hold on a second. This is such a weird angle. I have to bend down. So I was saying, do you all? wash your hair in the shower. I do now. Lately, I've been doing that. I always do it when I wear braids because it's just easier to do that in the shower. But lately, I've been doing that with everything. So, the wig and warm water. And I saw someone do this where you can't even see what I'm doing. Let's go play. Let's go close up. I saw someone do this where they tell this part, and then they just wash the bottom part so for the, the velcro in the back of the get wet. So I'm going to try that. Try it first. Just wet it. The one thing I don't like about the wigs is that you can hear my pipes is the old house. Oh, crusty elbows. Um, <laughs> the one thing I don't like about when I first get these wigs is that they smell like a wig. It smells like, like fake hair, which it really isn't. It's, human hair but it just smells so weird and I don't like it so a little makeshift wrap around the the um faucet and as I've said before one day soon hopefully in 2022 I'll remodel my bathroom and I'll get all new fixtures and a new sink because the sink is kind of low it's kind of low this shampoo smells really great so i wash it really well, really well, just like regular hair. Wash it, and rinse it out. I mean, it's not dirty. It's just the preferred method is to wash it out when you first get it. So that's what I'm doing. Like, you should feel how soft it is. Super soft. Super soft. Um, it smells better already. Rinsing it out. Trying to uh, velcro it around the knob so um, it would not get the velcro wet. Which, I don't know, it's not a big deal to me, but for some reason, she made a point in this video that I watched. She made it a point. Oh, horrible. She made it a point to not get the velcro wet. So. I'm trying the same thing. All right, one more rinse. So it's still a little soapy. And then, just like that, rinse it out. And then just put the conditioner on it. This conditioner is so thick, sometimes I have to take it out. Oops. Also smells so good. I love this conditioner for my hair. And I'm not using, sorry, it's the only way I can get it now. Pump 
isn't really a great method for me. So usually I use a lot of conditioner in my hair, but you know, for a wig, not so much, not as much. The curls still pretty much look the same. They've gotten a little looser because it's wet now. You see that? It's wet. And I've already gotten it on my shirt. But now I take this brush and then I start brushing it out. And you can already tell that the curls are starting to change. You can see that. They look different now. So just going to brush the whole thing through all of the brush it through all of the uh, the conditioner through the hair and this actually helps a lot to hold it but you can tell already the curl pattern has changed because you're brushing it out all right doesn't look as I don't know what the word is wiggy I use wiggy before it looks less looks gonna, it's gonna look more natural Oh, brushing it out. Okay. You can see kind of the conditioner coming to the ends of it, but all right. Now we're inside the conditioner. And of course, this is not actually for my hair. I would do more with my hair. Like I would do it in my hair, I'm saying. But usually, I'm in a hurry like I am today. And I don't know if I'm wearing this today. I'm going to the I'm going to see the new going to my friend's house to watch the new Sex in the City series. Um and just like that. So I have to run to the store, run to the liquor store, and pick up some concept from I don't know. Concept. You know what I mean. Y'all y'all uh alcohol drinkers know what I mean. You can even see what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of I know it almost it always makes me feel better anyway to wash the wig when I did it or before I put it on the top of my actual hair anyway so um this looks better to me so now brush it all the way through it's so soft like I really I really wish that my actual hair had this curl pattern. Well, I mean, I don't mind my curl pattern. It's just that it takes a lot for my curls to come out. Whereas this is just like ready to go. Ready to go. But already I'm liking it so much better than when I first showed it to you. It's looking better already. You can see that, but the curls are looking so much better. Um, it's like you're spreading them apart, spreading all the curls apart. Okay, so now what I usually do is, just one second, I'll show you. So now I, I hang the wig on this hook in my bathroom and I have my, um, oops, my hair looks a mess. I gotta fix this hair on my head. I, um, I hang it on the hook. On, in my bathroom and I loose it while it's hanging there. So I have loose here. I don't have that much left. And sometimes when I first do this process, I, I use a lot of mousse. I loose it really well. Whoop! That always happens. But I just like to have it on something to be able to really get the mousse through the hair. And I do that with the wig I have. On my head is wet, which I need to do because it looks a hot mess. I just kind of threw it on my head to make this <laughs> to make this video, and I could have just left it off because it looks horrible. Anyway, it's dripping all on this mat. I have another hook inside my tub, and so I'll hang it there and let it dry. But look how long it gets. I don't know if you can see how long it gets. Yeah, I have an old old house again, so the towels are really really old. All right, I think I'm going to do it one more time. And then brush it out. And then, oops, brush it out again. 
Look at all these curls. I want it to be as fluffy as possible. I want it to look more Afro-like. More closer to my own texture of hair. And this is not my texture. All right. Then I'm gonna take the brush, brush the mousse through. Having this hook in my bathroom is like just the perfect place to kind of get through the hair. This wall was already clean because I cleaned it before when I did my other wig. Not that it's on a dirty bathroom wall, so. But you can see that some of the hair, it sheds a little bit, but I don't think it's, you know, this is a good, good quality wig for what you pay for. I think I paid 150 150 for this, maybe. A little less. I got, it, I, got it, I got it on Black Friday, so it was super cheap. Look how nice that looks. Look how the curl pattern has changed just with rushing through it. This looks so good. It looks so much better. Oops. Just brushing through it. Making it look better. Okay. All right, that looks good. I think it looks good. Uh, put that on there and put my stuff away as we talk. But I also have this that I use, that I will be using again on the way that I have. It's, um, it's another black, um, black what? Um, a black product for hair, black hair, but it's made by black folks too. Um, and I got it at Target. I think this was like $5 for this jar. And it works so well. It's like a curl activator, but it's like, it doesn't smell like the curl activator back in the day when I had a jerry curl. But I also use that on here just to kind of set the curls. Kind of keep them because they kind of go away after a while. I mean, when it dries. So this, when it dries, it'll keep that curl. And that's what I want. I want to keep this pretty curl, but like you can already see how the curls are fluffing out and it's not, it's not the same, it's not the same curls that it was when I first opened it. But yeah, just kind of work that through. Put that back up there, do one more. I don't even use that much. Just like, just a little dollop. Kind of like just to set the curls. It's really kind of spreading them apart too. But um, I use that. So I shampooed, conditioned it. I use this curl. What is it called? Josie curls. You can see that Josie curls. And then I use the same woman makes this. Um, makes this. Um, curl enhancing spray that goes to me it goes together the the curl activator I call it curl activator but I don't think that's what they call it because that's like old school curl hydrating pudding I think goes with this spray and it's the same maker I get it at Target five or ten bucks and then I just kind of saturate it so I keep these curls smells pretty good and then that's pretty much it. I let it sit. I let it dry out a little bit. And so because this is a headband wig, I'll let you see me again. Oh, the angle is horrible. Because this is a headband wig, I have to do some, some um, styling of it. But I just wanted to quick show you how I treat it before I do the styling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my head, not today, <laughs> in another video, I'm gonna put it on my head and then I'm gonna cut the front and then I'm gonna fluff it out a little more and style it the way I want it. But it's not gonna stay like this, but I like how long it is. So it's it's, it's the same, it's actually the same, um, what am I trying to say? It's the same wig, it's just longer. I think this is like a 1B, so closer to my actual hair color, and this is a black. But it's the same pattern of hair. It's just longer. So um, 
I like black on me, but I also like the color too. So I don't know, something different, a little longer. And so the next time you'll see this wig, it'll be styled. It might be on my head styled. I might show you how I style it. I don't know. But I thought I would just show you my process in case you want to get a headband wig. You know what to do and what I do. It's really kind of dripping wet. So I'm going to hang it on this other hook inside my bathtub and just let it drip dry. And then come back later tomorrow probably and do some more work on it. Like, like even with this wig, it's a headband wig. And I, I cut it to fit and trim the front. And a lot of times, if I go somewhere, show you right quick. I, I take this, what is it called? Curl hydrating gel pudding. Curl hydrating pudding, and I put it on here. I call it curl activator because to me it's like, it kind of does that. Kind of makes these curls pop out. And then just work that in. And you can see already it's working. It's working. It works on my hair as well. But because it was a little cheaper, I thought, okay, I can use this for sure on my wigs because it didn't cost that much. So I can just go replenish it. Um, but I use my good conditioner um, and shampoo to wash it because I feel like... Um, you know, I paid good money for these wigs. I want them to still be, you know, looking good for quite a while. My braid is right here. I keep trying to put the hair down, but it's because my braid is right there. It's so funny. Um, then I'll use the spray. And sometimes I'll mousse it, but most of the time lately I haven't been. I just do this. And look how different it looks already. Doesn't that look much better? It looks so good. Yay! So, that's the video today. I wanted to show you how I treat the new wigs when I get them. Um, I'm just talking like I'm an expert. This is like the first wig I had and that's the second. So, of the two wigs I, I've gotten, that's what I've done. And I really love this wig now that I've um, transformed it from a headband wig to just a regular wig. I like it so much better. Um, and so I'm going to see if I can do the same thing with that other one and I'll show you it's, it's supposed to be this big and fluffy the other way, but it just kind of needs to dry and needs to be treated, but it's okay because then I can just wear it whenever I want to. Anyway, hopefully you um, enjoyed this video and if you're going to buy a wig, I would highly recommend Love Me Hair. They have those payments where you can pay for them, you know, over four payments or whatever. Um, they have a ton of videos. They have a ton of folks that wear the hair. Um, if you're new to a wig, I would highly suggest the headband wig. Probably for the first three, four, maybe five months, maybe even six months, I wore the headband as a headband until I saw another video to kind of transform it. So I got comfortable with wearing it, and then I um, switched to that. I'm not ready for the front lace or the yeah the front lace wigs and cutting and all of that. I'm not ready for that. But this is a good compromise and it's a good way to protect my own hair and keep it nice. I keep it nice and moisturized. Let me show you. I showed you the other day, but I use this every day. I put this on my scalp, not every day, um, but I put that on my scalp. So when I, um, before I put my wig on, I, I um, put that on my scalp and I put my wig cap on, then I put my wig on. And then it protects my hair. My hair is growing so much. I cannot wait. I want to try to protect my hair all winter and then see what it looks like in the summer. That's the goal. We'll see. Um, I might even do braids again. But anyway, that's the video today. Thank you so much for joining me. Day nine, I believe, of Vlogmas. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.